Hey guys, we're back. Today we're doing the second part of the video on the Model 3 Standard Range Plus and the battery degradation. It is a 2019 Standard Range Plus Model 3 with over 30,000 miles, almost 32,000 miles on it. And we did a test last week. I'll leave a link up somewhere above that you can uh, click on that to see that video. But just to summarize, we did get a couple extra miles range indicated after recharge to 100% last week. And I do think that charging up to 100% does have something to do with calibrating the battery and helping it to basically know what the full range would be at 100% state of charge. So we're gonna do that again this week. And today we're getting it up to 100% to see what 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 charge we actually what range we actually get at 100% charge oddly enough today what i found is when i tried to charge it to 100% it would only say 99% so let's just see let's look here and see if on the car display we can get it to change to 100% of course once we do get up to 100% and let it sit there just for a little while to make sure that it's completely done we will need to drive it around pretty quick just to make sure that you don't keep it at 100% for very long. That's not good for the battery. Also not good for the battery to stay down to low percentage charge. And worth mentioning now that I did not take it down to say under 10%. Like sometimes I've heard in the past to calibrate the battery, you take it up to 100% and then you take it down below 10% and then back up to 100% and that gets it calibrated. Well, I did that before and it didn't do anything for the battery. Uh, so I did want to do just what I'd heard recently where every once in a while, like every week or so, you would charge it up to 100% and drive it off and then just leave your charging habits as normal after that. So we have left it charging up to around 80%. After that, just do a couple drives and then charge it up to 80%, just like our normal charging habits. So in between the 200% charges, we just did the normal pattern of charging and driving. So I didn't want to do anything different from that. This is just to see if charging it up to 100% every so often helps to calibrate that battery. And so let's check it out. I do use Teslify to track all of these numbers on the car to see what range it would be at 100%. It gives you a good overall chart all the time and you can kind of see that. I like that a lot better than the app and the car itself does not actually display that information. So I will have a link down below to Teslify so you can check that out if you're interested in tracking these sort of things on your Tesla. It also has a, a lot of other features where you can show, it shows you how much energy is used for heating and cooling the car, how much, uh, how efficient you were on each drive you did we will check that out after i do the drive we'll check out the numbers for the 100 percent charge and compare it to what we got in the last week and see if charging up to 100 percent the second time did anything more for helping out again the first time it did give us an extra two miles of range indicated at 100 percent stated charge where we didn't have that before so that was kind of nice okay so it did take about an hour at 100 percent for it to get up to complete charge it is stating 214 miles at 100 percent could be wrong but i think that's a lot less than it was previously so that may not be good uh i'll have to go back and check and see what it had listed before um, but we'll go ahead and drive now I'm going to go ahead and set the limit back down to around 80%. Actually, maybe I'll just do 70% for our regular commute. So I got that uh, drive completed and got down to 93% uh, battery here in the Model 3. But it turns out it is not showing that I got up to 100% or a complete charge. So it actually shows that uh, I didn't actually get the 100% charge. At least it doesn't show up on Teslify. So I was... Uh, Talking good about Tesla Fi and how it wouldn't miss the top of the charge. Um, but something was a little odd because the car displayed 214 miles range at 100%, which would be seven, seven miles less than the last time we charged up to 100%. So unfortunately, I do believe I'm going to have to do this test again. But here, I'll show you real quick what Tesla Fi is showing. It just shows a 90% charge. So here we go. So you can see here on Teslify, the charge showed up as a 90% charge rather than a 100% charge. Actually, the 90% charge is, I think, where I actually charged it to 
uh, earlier this morning in anticipation of charging it up to 100% complete. So, but right there it shows 212.5 miles with that 90% charge, clearly less than I was anticipating. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this test again. Um, gonna have to run the battery down a little bit more again, and then I'm gonna go back up to 100% one more time. I mean, that's very strange because I let it sit at 100 for an hour. And I was pretty sure it said charging complete, but maybe I went ahead and actually disconnected it before it was charging complete. I don't know. It might've messed it up me getting in the car before I did that. So unfortunately I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do another test of this. I'm gonna have to run the battery down a little bit more, come back and charge it up to hundred percent. For now, hundred percent charge listed at 214 miles. So down seven miles uh, from last week. From, from, from literally from last week, we lost seven miles range at 100% according to uh, what the car was stating. Okay, checked this time and it is complete for sure. All right, so this time I made sure it was 100% complete before I unplugged the car. I was pretty sure it was the last time, but this time it definitely was. I checked on the app. I checked on Teslify to be sure that it showed up as 100%. And this is now what we get at 100% for round two, round three. I don't know. It's hard to say. We had to drive it a little ways. <laughs> and uh, I didn't actually take it under 20% like I was hoping to do. Um, so maybe that has an impact. But honestly, this looks similar to what we got the last time when I went up to 100%. Uh, well, we're close to 100%. I don't know. What, I don't know what I actually ended up doing. But uh, uh, I'm going to have to probably recommend don't do this for your car just charge up to 70 percent or 80 percent whatever you normally do uh and just charge it keep it plugged in and don't worry about calibrating the battery for any really purpose is you know if you need to go on a trip you need to charge up to 100 percent. do that if not just charge it up to 70 80 percent and just leave it alone so here we are at 100% charge. I left it here for about 15 minutes, fully charged. And if we look at the display, just unplugged it, 214 miles. And that's not a mistake. That is correct. Uh, I had 221 miles displayed last time i charged it up to 100 percent, and this time it is now 214 miles at 100 percent. i'm going to go ahead and drive it a little bit uh but yeah i would say not a good idea to charge it to 100 percent on any regular basis i'm not really worried that i hurt my battery in any way so there it is do you think I ruined my battery? Uh, hopefully I did not uh, cause more degradation to my battery than I needed to <laughs> uh, just by doing this test, but I wanted to find out if charging up to 100% a couple times uh, over the course of a couple weeks would actually recalibrate the battery and get some of those those miles back in 100% charge that were lost. Uh, turns out that the first time I charged up to 100%, it did actually. If you can go back and watch the video, I got two miles, one or two miles extra added back to the 100% range at 100% when I did that first 100% charge. So I thought, hey, you know, why not do it one more time a week later after doing my regular charging habits and see if that gives me a couple more miles back. Instead, uh, we lost seven miles, so I, I cannot recommend charging up to 100% basically ever. Um, again, if you need the 100% because you are going on a trip and you you know maybe you're stretching it out a little bit, you, you're worried about whether you're going to be able to get there or whatever it may be, that's fine. Charge it up to 100%, but just make sure you drive right after you charge it up to 100%. Don't let it sit there at 100% for very long. Too high or too low in the battery is obviously where it's going to be stressing out the battery pack more. So just avoid it if you can. Try to keep it between 20 and 80% on a daily basis, and you'll be fine. And yes, even if I have 214 miles range on the Model 3 here instead of the 240 that I was originally supposed to have in it, that's still not that bad. I mean, again, 
I'd like to see it back at 220 miles that I had last week. Uh, that would be much better than when, you know, from before I started this test. But still, if I only got 214, shoot, if I only have 200, I'm still happy. It's plenty of miles to do road trips in. It's going to be a lot harder. And, of course, we do have our Model Y. That's what we're going to do our road trips in just because it's bigger. But I just wanted to do this test, see what it it did and uh so what did you think is this a good test of calibrating the battery or do you think you know i should have done what i did previously like last year i did it i i went down below uh 10 and then went back up to 100 percent to see if i could you know calibrate the battery and see if i got any of that range back it didn't do anything and now i just did my regular charging habits with a couple 100 percent charges uh after two weeks and it well you know, right now it looks like it hurt it, um, but hopefully it didn't. I'm hoping it'll just go right back uh, to that 220, but we'll see. So what did you think? Did I hurt the battery? Should I not have done that? Or did I just do something that, you know, maybe didn't really have any impact? It just kind of briefly changed what it displayed, and it'll probably just go back. So let me know in the comments below what you thought. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.